Stuart Fulton here in Tokyo, Japan. Today, we're visiting Wajid's Keishu Kai God's Gym. We're gonna to speak to Mei Yamaguchi, top one championship atom weight contender. Ahead of her fight in Singapore next week, May 17th, on the one championship, Enter the Dragon card, headlined by Shinya Aoki and Christian Lee. Let's go in. I'm here with top ranking atom weight one championship contender, Mei Yamaguchi. Thanks for your time today. Hi, Suard. Uh, it's really nice to be here. And thank you for yeah. having us at your gym today. Thank you. For your first two fights in one championship, your debut fight and your second fight, they were against unbeaten opponents. Mm -hmm. Could you take us back in time to then and your feelings? Uh, when making your one debut and the level of Angela Lee and Estela Nunes? When I first fought for one championship, it I didn't know a lot of it and they had like new uh, weigh-in style and everything was new for me so I had a little bit hard time making weight and uh, they had all those big uh, fam meetings and stuff, Every, everything was new. So, well, it was fun though. Um, and then I fought um, Angela Lee and I knew she had really good technique for grounds and also for the strikings. But um, yeah, well, I always believe myself that I can be her. And, yeah, but um, so she, it was, it was amazing. She's still young, but she had so many things she can do in the cage. It was amazing. I think I knocked her down once and I got a mount. I thought I, I can get the arm bar, but she was pretty flexible and, and it was my first time doing five rounds. So I was so exhausted. I thought I will die. <laughs> but um, yeah, she, she was a really good fighter and uh, she got the belt. And even I lost, um, everyone enjoyed our fight, so it was okay for me. Yeah, and then I kind of um, got used to the one championship style a little bit, and I had, uh, I fought against Estela Nunes. Um, thought he was in Macau, I think. Yeah. So um, I really thought I won that fight. I really thought, and even my corner, all the all the fans thought I won, but uh, they gave the point to my opponent. So um, I lost in a split decision. So um, yeah, I wanted to get the win in that fight, but I learned a lot that how one ch championship. Uh, Give the points in strikings, and so it yeah it was a um, good fight that I learned a lot from that loss. Uh, you took a great armbar win over Ksenia Lachkova at one's Japan debut show, a new era. You mentioned after that that it was particularly special to you because. You had family there mm -hmm. who had never seen you fight live before. Could you tell us more about the emotions that day? Yeah, um, it it was uh, like three year and what, almost four years since I fought in Japan uh, in Deep Jewels. So it was really good to fight in front of Japanese fans, but also it was my first time my uh, my family except my mother because she she got injured and she couldn't come. But um, I had my father and my little brother there cheering for me and also, of course, my sister. But my sister always come to my fight, even in foreign country. So um, it was, it was, um, great to have my family and I was wondering how they react to my my fight and see me in the cage because I don't um, it's not like my family doesn't like me fighting as a professional but I just didn't have 
a lot of time sharing uh, my experience and they uh, like my father she he's uh, turning 70 years old this year and uh, he she, he knows about karate because he took me to karate dojo when I was a kid but he doesn't know about other martial arts like kickboxing and boxing so um, I do explain what is mixed martial art is but he just doesn't get it you know he he maybe he watches on TV but uh, he's like okay maybe that's like karate and I'll say like Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, after my fight, I went to see my family and they were really surprised. And I think he, they enjoyed. And my father was pretty worrying about me, you know, if I wasn't injured. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, they, they enjoyed, so I was glad and, um, it's really nice to have my relatives around me and support me because um, I see a lot of fighters. They they bring their family to the their fight all the time and cheer. And they, their family cheer for them, but um, it was not. Uh, it didn't real, really happen to me. So. It's like finally yeah, my family is here cheering for me just like other fighters so that's, that's amazing great maybe it's the fight i won against uh yukatsuji back in the old days for valkyrie and uh Yukatsuji was, I think, uh, undefeated by Japanese fighters. And I believe uh, like 90% of the fans thought Tsuji will win. So, yeah, it was just great. It's uh, against Angela Lee one the first one it's it's not like um her her skill is great but the the toughest the toughness is about uh my like conditioning stuff you know it was so tiring it's because we've been moving whole five rounds so I really thought I will die, you know. After, after the third round, I went back to the corner and sat down and I felt like my heart is like gonna explode, you know. And I thought, Sh I shouldn't stand up. You know? <laughs> I shouldn't stand up, I might die. And then it was still three rounds. I was like, oh my God, I still have two rounds. It was that hard. But watching that fight, you didn't look like you were in any trouble coming out for rounds four and five. <laughs> you still went 100%. Yeah, I, you know, um, there's some people that they can go 100% from the first, and then there's some people who, when, it, when the situation gets worse, they show their power, you know? I think that's, that's me. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. Um, I know, well, I, I, if I win this next fight, I will have like three wins in a row. And I think that is enough for me to say I want to challenge the belt. So yeah, hopefully. And plus, if it's in my country, it will be excellent. Thank you very much for your time today, mate. Don't forget, to watch Mei Yamaguchi fight on the card, headlined by Shinya Aoki and Christian Lee. One championship, enter the dragon in Singapore on May 17th.